Welcome to the show. Tonight we are a full hour on baby Prudence, the child who was abducted yesterday. We have the 911 call and the last taken home video of baby Prue. We have reporters in the field as hundreds of people are searching for, what's that? They found her, she's fine? Well, f me! God! We have breaking news. Baby Lakeisha has gone missing. For the next hour, we will, what's that? Nobody cares? Moving on? Let's check in with baby Prudence. Her 14th day home, and she's still safe and sound. Hello, everybody out there. This is Brock Favors with Traffic on the Ones. Chad Armstrong is out sick today. So I am filling in for my usual land reports, and uh, I'm up here at the chopper. But I got to tell you guys, I am loving the view. <laughs> oh, my God! Oh! Stop, 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 stop. Oh! Woo! All right. <laughs> well, we are um uh we are over the ten. It is massively clogged down there, like a pint of maple syrup on a cool November morning. And we do. Oh! Oh! Okay, I am, uh, I am very sorry, folks. <laughs> it's a little bit of a bumpy ride up here. We are now approaching the 405, uh, where the left lane is blocked by a mattress. So somebody is uh, gonna be doing a little return to Ikea later today. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, please! Oh, God damn! Oh, get me out this motherfucking dust machine right now! Oh, no, black people ain't meant to be in the sky! We ain't meant to be in the sky! <laughs> oh, mama, help me, mother Oh, mama! Oh, well, the four or five is up right now. Ain't nobody going down this I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, folks. I'm very sorry, brother. But I'm losing my up here. Actually, you have every right to. We're about to crash. Rick Nicholsby reporting live from a gruesome scene. A cult known as QET, or Quest for Eternal Truth, has apparently taken their own lives in a mass suicide. Police confirmed that cyanide-laced cherry Kool-Aid was also on the premises. Excuse me, hi, Rick Nicholsby, Channel 6, hi. Are you two from the neighborhood? Uh, um, yes. No. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, were you two members of the cult that lived here? The cult? What cult? What? Was this a cult? cult? I had no idea no this was a cult. No way! Okay. I would say the term cult is a little judgmental. I would say the same thing, yeah. Not knowing the full doctrine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, apparently they believed that there was a spaceship waiting for them behind the moon. Okay, well, you know, that, that Not, still is really possible. I mean, it's possible, right? I mean, Actually, I, who, who I mean, knows what is out there in the universe? Could be behind the moon. Okay, well, it appears they killed themselves in order to board the ship. Right, and that's where we disagreed with them, right there. Or would have. We would have disagreed with them had we been there. On, on our departure day. Their departure day, their departure day, yep. which is the day that they d did this. I mean, that's what you could call it if you wanted to, but I ain't in no cult. No, I mean, what, what I always wondered is how, or am starting to wonder since you brought this to our attention, mm -hmm. why, if there was a spaceship in the sky, yeah. why wouldn't it just beam us up? Beam them up. Right, just beam them up. Just beam them up. Why can't you just beam them up alive? Why you gotta be dead to get beamed up? You know what I'm saying? I've been saying that for weeks, for seconds, for seconds. Because because you, Rick Nicholsby, you told us that, uh, you know, and that's how I knew because seconds. seconds and 50 seconds ago, you said it. I, I didn't know anything about it until you had said it because I ain't in no cult. Okay, well then why would someone join a cult? Charismatic leader. leadership, you know, like a compelling yeah. a, a Taco person. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. I mean, hypothetically, they could have had tacos on Tuesday, which would have been a draw. Anybody I mean, that would have been a plus. Win. Okay, so this is a tragic day for this community and for the members of the Quest for Earthly Truth. I'm Rick Nicholsby, reporting. Whoa. You see? Yep. You see? Uh -huh. <laughs> Everybody jump the gun! We're ready! Good 
Breaking St. Paul, it's your City News at 5. I'm Jamie Thronberg. And I'm Marcy Whitchurch. Winter weather advisories are in effect across central Minnesota tonight. With more on that, weatherman Isaac Labuda. Isaac. Thanks, Marcy. A major system is zipping across the region. Outside temp right now, 8 degrees, but it feels like 20 below. Jamie? Well, stay off the roads if you can, folks. Lots of reports of black ice. Ooh, you gotta watch out for that dangerous black ice. It's transparent and sneaky. Hard to see black ice. That's right, Marcy. Keep your loved ones safe and warn them to stay off the streets tonight because of menacing, life-robbing black, black ice. I Dick. We have Channel 17's field reporter, Darren Hempner, with more. Darren? Yeah. I'm standing out here at historic Ramsey Hill where there are currently no cars on the street due to uh, hazardous driving conditions. Darren, are you talking about black ice? That's right. Ooh, Jesus. It's frightening just to even say black ice. It's scary, tricky, ruthless stuff, that black ice. A perfectly safe neighborhood can be suddenly terrorized by the appearance of black ice. Well, one must keep in mind that just because black ice looks different than white ice, it doesn't make it any more dangerous. Also, one must remember how hard it is for black ice to survive, what with the authorities trying to destroy it with the snow plows and the salt trucks, but black ice perseveres. Uh -huh, that's right, that's right. And as you can see right now, the city is being controlled by lots of oppressive white snow, making it hard for all people to advance. And we don't hear much news about that. Now, do we? No, we do not. Well, thank you very much, Brother Darren. But let's be honest, black ice is the real menace. Last night, I was in a perfectly safe neighborhood walking away from an ATM machine when black ice just snuck up on me and practically robbed me of my balance. Ouch. That sounds exactly like something black ice would do. Well, I just hope that folks watch out so the white snow doesn't blind them and keep them from seeing what's really going on. All I'm saying is I can't think of a single Christmas song about black ice. Lots of cheerful, uplifting songs about snow, so. Oh, well, for the record, black ice never asked to be out here. No, it did not. It's a product of the environment. Ooh, hallelujah! In fact, black ice didn't land on the road. The road landed on black ice. Ooh, amen! Okay, next up, why is America being ruined by black people? What do we do? They told us at the station to come down here and fill time, but uh, there's no story here. In this neighborhood, there's always a story. Here, give me the name of a mythical creature. A mythical creature? I don't trust me. Uh, but I don't know. A Pegasus. Pegasus, yeah. perfect. Just roll, watch, and learn. Everybody can stay in my house if they want to. Hi there, Rick Nicholsby, Channel 6 News. We've had reports of a Pegasus in the area. Has anybody seen anything like that? Oh, uh, yeah, man. I've seen a Pegasus. I've seen it yeah, every day. <laughs> I seen it too, man. We both see that Pegasus, huh? Yeah, I saw it with my own two eyes, man. That horse had a big old snake head on oh, top man. of it. It ain't got no snake head, fool. Yeah, that, hey, that horse had some big wings, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, flying, yeah that horse had big old wings, man, like two sets of wings. Yeah, man. Y'all see the Pegasus? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 everybody yeah, up in yeah, here yeah, see the Pegasus, man. man. Curiosity has brought out large crowds to see the alleged Pegasus in this South Lenox neighborhood. Oh, look, there it is. I'm going to find it, break it, and then ride it to the Pegasus treasure. Residents say the creature resembles this amateur sketch. Kick the f out of my car. City's gotta pay for that shit too. I ain't got no coverage with no Pegasus, bitch. He landed on my roof, man. Look at my roof, man. He busted it up. He busted the whole thing up, man. Yeah, he been, he been, he been sitting up there every day. While many revel in the possibility of seeing the winged horse, others are not so welcoming. I, I just know this neighborhood will be better if that Pegasus is put down. I tell you this, God ain't putting no wings on no horse. Now see, if this was a white neighborhood, animal control would be up in here with a Pegasus trap. That's right, they can't take our Wait. Pegasus. This is our Pegasus. Yeah, yeah. Pegasus up in this mother Hey man, why are you interrupting me? I'm trying to talk about the Pegasus. Hey, you. Hey, don't be disrespecting the Pegasus. I love Pegasus. Hey. Hey. 
Yes, we're here live on the scene in South Lennox, where riots have broken out over the alleged appearance of a flying horse. Brock Favors here, filling in for Chad Armstrong, who is out sick today. <laughs> we are here live at the Metro Police Department K-9 training facility, and we are going to be learning some apprehension techniques used by the K-9 unit. Now, Officer Hansen, uh, I will be playing the assailant today. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Now, Officer Hansen, I am perfectly safe in this suit, right? <laughs> yeah, you're 100% safe. In yeah. fact, those are the uh, suits we use for officer training. All right, well, there you go. Well, kids, make sure that you do not try this at home with your chihuahuas. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry that uh, you all just uh, heard me use that inappropriate language. That was very uncalled for. When, yeah. you, when you panic like that, yeah. he thinks you're more of a threat than you are, uh -huh. that's when he's going to bite down harder. OK, yeah. well, I will make an effort this time to really try and, and, and be as calm as possible, even though it is very difficult to be calm when you're in the lion's den. <laughs> or should I say the doggy den, you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 The mood is infectious and exciting today as people from all walks of life celebrate becoming the seventh state to legalize gay marriage. We're here talking to excited couples about how they feel on this historic day. Oh, hi. 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 Uh, yeah, it's a very historic day for civil rights and for gay Americans and Americans all over the country. We're gonna get married! Well, you know, we, 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 we said that to be a conversation, you know what I mean, because we didn't know this was gonna pass so darn fast. Oh, oh. So are you guys a couple? <laughs> are we a couple? Come on, girl, let's get serious. So my fast. name is LaShawn, and this right here is my sandwich. It's just Samuel, <laughs> yeah. And we're gonna get married! That's so great. How long have you guys been together? Well, we've been three years. It's been forever. We've been waiting forever. Yeah, it's really important to know the person. And who is the bride? I am the bride. Do to the do to the do to do. Well, tell us all about your plans. Um, well, you know, we never thought it was important to have a piece of paper, so there's oh, not any plans. In the... We gonna get that piece of paper, Sammy. Yeah, yeah. That piece of paper. Where do you think you guys will get married? Uh, we know there's a lot of hidden yeah. costs in oh, a wedding. Everywhere. So we gonna get married over here and over there and in the sky and on a cloud. Oh, wow, it sounds like it's gonna be a big wedding. Well, you know, uh, yeah, it's, oh, it's, 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 that's a conversation. We gonna rent the moon and fill it with rosé. We, we really need to talk about whether or not we think it's fair to even get married when it's still illegal in so many other states. See, look at him, look at him. That's my man with his big heart. That, I'm sorry, my husband. You my husband now. Well, we you just, my husband think, now, bitch. Okay, we just don't want to rush into anything because stuff gets overturned. Remember what happened in California? And baby, I'm going to get a 14 carat ring the size of 14 mother carats. That's what's up, Doc. Well, you two certainly seem excited. Yeah, do we seem excited? Yeah. Okay. Congratulations. I hope you guys have a wonderful wow. life together. We just, we really just oh didn't think it was going to pass. It's going to be, we're going to have a house that's shaped like a unicorn, and we're going to have five little girls. Their name's going to be Etni, Carousel, Sequin, Abercrombie, and Phantom. And we're going to have a little dog named Ruffalo, and the dog going to have a cat named Myriad. Police say late last night they apprehended Rodney Gullivan and found a gun and narcotics in his truck. He was charged with possession and assault on his fiancée, and she is in the hospital recovering tonight. Meanwhile, another woman was sexually assaulted by Benjamin Brader of Indianapolis. The unidentified woman suffered a broken rib and a split lip. She's in stable condition tonight. Well, that's it for sports. Chuck. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>